hi we're back my shiny face and all i know you saw the thumbnail <laughs> i know you saw that thumbnail i got that email asking like did i want to get pr and i was like hey yeah beyonce sure girl send it on over oh she's a big gal she's happy she's literally ups tried to deliver this to me yesterday i went online i was like try again okay look i'm only holding this up one time so get a good look at it while i got it up because i ain't got that much upper body strength this is what she looked like this is what she looked like it was so oh, she heavy. first we have the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub okay um, okay oh girl <laughs> so it's just like a little the top like that um the hydrating shampoo i wash my hair twice anyway so i'm gonna use one of these in one wash and one for the second wash so this is the hydrating shampoo and i like the fact that like the tops are kind of differentiating moisture sealing lotion when i hear lotion it makes me think of like um like the pink lotion Ooh. Okay, let me just have a little hive moment really quick. This is exactly what I would expect Beyonce's house to smell like. Like clean, but a little earthy, but inexpensive. This is the moisturizing deep conditioner. Oh, and she's thick with three C's. This. And this other one, it's like the same packaging, but it's just a different color. This is the reconstructing treatment mask. Okay, let's open this one. Ooh, she's a whole different color. Ooh, there's some some shimmer to her. But this is the nourishing hair oil. Like, this is something that you put on your tabletop. Like, it just looks so good. Nourishing hair oil. And she twists off. And she has a little, you said smell the same? Oh, kind of the same. How you know how the Olaplex oil, you can't just like turn it over and oil comes out. Like you have to, oh, dude, that's how you do it. Oh, it's a thing on here, girl. It's like literally exactly like it. You see how I'm hitting it and just like a little bit is coming out. So you can turn this over. It's not going to spill out. We have the fermented rice and rose protein ritual. And this box. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something real ghetto. Y'all know what I'm thinking. Girl, this could be my new water bottle. <laughs> and you know what? My boyfriend actually was like, what is that honey on there? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. Like a honeycomb or something. And I was like, she said it's for my eyes. So everything we got from Sacred. Again, I'm so excited. So ready to use everything. But I am gonna color my hair and I do I think what I'm going to use is both of the shampoos. I'm going to do the scrub and the um, the hydrating shampoo. I am going to use the rice water rinse and everything. And then I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use the moisturizing deep conditioner today. And then I'm going to use the hair oil. The one thing I would have loved to see is a leave-in. Like a leave-in product that has heat protectant in it. So I'm going to do this first. I'm not even gonna show y'all that. That might even be a whole nother video in itself. How I color my hair myself, stay tuned. Um, and then we'll get into Miss Sake. Okay, I've been sitting here with my color and my hair has been percolating. So I'm gonna go rinse it out. I am gonna take y'all to the shampoo bow cause it wouldn't be right me trying these two new shampoos and y'all don't come to the shampoo bowl. All right, so we're starting with the rent or the, y'all know what I'm trying to say, the clarifying and scalp um, scrub. So just so y'all can see what the texture of it looks like. It looks like that. Okay. It's like light granules in here. They're not rough at all. And it has like a, a minty like smell. Thank you. 
and I like the scrub that's in here too because it's not like too abrasive it's not too like gritty um it's like if you need like a really gritty 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 scrub like get like a scalp scrubber or something like this Ooh, after like some protective style some braids or something this oh my gosh with the little nozzle like this would be bomb for when I wash my hair when I have braids and stuff in. The hydrating shampoo smells like everything else. Like, okay, so we're about to wash our hair with this. Um, same as that one, I could see like, this one like a little bit more than the other. It's kind of hard to squeeze out. I will say your hair does have like a very like like fresh feeling. I don't know if that's like over, like left over from like the minty. Okay, so I'm walking back over. <laughs> y'all see my filming setup? This is why I would never take y'all to the shampoo bowl before because I only had that one camera and it was like, how am I gonna do that? Okay, so we're back on this camera. <laughs> um, My hair feels clean. Like that's like that's my gauge for this. Like my hair feels clean. Let's set up TikTok real fast. So we have our water in here. It's warm. Um, so it says step one. This is a fermented rice and rose protein powder. So I'm gonna open this and it says to empty this into your water. Ooh. Okay, this is a different scent than all the other stuff. That smells really nice. I don't even like rose scents, but it's like, that's a rose scent I can get with. I like the way that smells. Oh, and it's kind of pink. Gonna put our top on. And shake it up carefully. That smells really nice. We'll put this top on there. Tell me all I like, all you need is a straw in here, girl. You have merch. Back at the sink, y'all. And I think I'm supposed to do this whole thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you've emptied the bottle. Oh, okay, it's through 14. Ooh. Okay, so I think that is all out. Part two, we're gonna put this in. Y'all, we're gonna put it in. That's the conditioner I'm about to use, y'all. Okay, we're back over here in our normal space. Now we're gonna put the conditioner in. I don't know how else to describe it other than it feels like, like it feels like it's like it strengthened my hair in some way. Like, I know that's a, like a strange thing to say like, oh, it feels that way, but like, that's, that's just what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so this is the moisturizing deep conditioner. And y'all know I go overboard with the conditioner, so. Ooh, and it's, she's thick. That's how much I'm gonna take. Actually, I'm, I'm a low-key put some back. I'm a low-key put some back. <laughs> Cause that was a lot. A little overzealous.
This says a leave in for no longer than 30 minutes. So we'll do like 15. So it's 3.30, 3.45. You know what? No, I'm going to do 10 minutes because I, I need to get the ball rolling. So 3.30, 3.40, we're going to wash this out. Out. I had my camera set up over there and everything. And I did. I rinsed it out. Everything was tucked to the camera's done. Picked it up. Pressed the button to stop recording. And it started recording. I didn't film any of it. Um, The conditioner. Where did I put her? My hair didn't feel super soft when I rinsed this out. But... It felt very strong like after each step like and I would say after like step one of like the rice water my hair was just feeling like it wasn't feeling rough but it wasn't feeling super soft but it was feeling strong like it was feeling like my hair feels strengthened and uh, I'm using um, my Dyson blow dryer for my flat iron I'm gonna use my uh, GHG Kronos I always have these linked down below for you guys if you are curious about them also it doesn't like make your hair like oh so easy to detangle like it's just, it's like about the same for me um it's not like um like i don't have much resistance when detangling my hair because y'all know my hair is relaxed um but it's about the same it's not like it's more or it's not less and for my leave-in product i'm using the color wow because we don't have a leave-in from the brand which i think might be the product that's like coming soon um let me detangle both sides all right i'm like terrified to touch my hair because y'all know like the blow dry test for me like when i touch my hair in between like blow dry and like straightening it lets me know how my hair is about to look and feel it's like the perfect mix of like my hair feels moisturized but it doesn't feel heavy or weighed down with product because i'm not gonna lie to you doing like the scrub the shampoo the rinse the rice water rinse was really what was like having me be like i don't know because like i don't do things like that normally um and then also like the the conditioner is very heavy so i rinsed out my hair a lot to try to make sure i got everything out my hair feels so good and i'm i told y'all i'm gonna go into this being unbiased because we all know i'm a bay fan b bay beyonce fan okay it feels like my hair is about to be looking good. okay let me do the other side i just just want to get too ahead of myself It feels so freaking good. And when I tell y'all know I'm the queen of like, I only want to use like five products during wash day. Like I usually be like, that's too much. When I was like looking at it, I was like, Beyonce, that's too much, girl. I don't know if I can use that many. Um, so the nourishing hair oil, um, it says add to damp or dry hair. And this is a nice little glass bottle. Also, there's a little booklet. Hold on. A little booklet that came with this that I have yet to open. I was like the kid that got the birthday gift and did not even look at the card. Um, for all I know, there could be a note in here from Beyonce herself saying, hey girl. This is so nice. I wish it was like a book though. These are all separate cards. I wish it was a book. This is a gorgeous. They're like posters, low key. You have this, okay? You have, the, the, like she just knows she looks good. You, oh, this picture is gorgeous. Like could, that could be me. That could be me either. Call me up next time. The other thing I saw about this oil was that it's like a penetrating oil, so it shouldn't sit on top of the hair. 
and you see how like I turn it right upside down did not come out it's just okay I did oh I did four little drops I did not even show TikToks and I like to rub it in my hands until my hands are warm my scalp i've been having an issue lately where like right up in here it's been like super flaky super um dandruffy especially right after i wash it it's like it just all comes up and it's just like sitting there it looks like i got dandruff it's really just dry skin whatever the scrub i would felt i was focusing it right here and it cleaned it right like there's nothing of that right here anymore just saying I just flat ironed my first section because the other thing I was worried about too I was like these are a lot of products they might be heavier I was also worried about this oil putting it in because I was thinking like I don't want it to sit on top of my hair um, and I told you guys I read that's a penetrating oil and I can say like that is true and let me just tell you one thing about me I like Beyonce I like hair products I like hair products that make my hair look good and shiny and I like hair products that smell good this do all of it so i'm gonna just let y'all know she does what she's supposed to do because she added shine but like if you see my hair it's still moving and shaking like it usually does Okay, so we've styled, or we haven't styled our hair. We flat ironed our hair. Um, and I already told you how shocked I was. Not even shocked, because like I wasn't expecting it to be bad, but just surprised with like how much product I was using during like the process. And then like the blow dry test, like I was sh shocked by that. I thought for sure like my hair might have like a little something on it it might feel a little sticky icky it might feel like like i thought i was for sure gonna feel a little something i want to go in style my hair i think i'm gonna do like my little wavy curls that i haven't done in a while but i have learned how to keep them up overnight so if you're curious about that check down the description on like how i maintain my hairstyle overnight and i'll have it down there for you guys so let's get into curling and styling our hair I just want you guys to know I'm not spraying any additional shine spray on my hair, just the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Clean Spray because I feel like my hair has a lot of shine already. All right, we're back. Our makeup is complete. I was gonna throw some lashes on, but I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like it. I need a little bit more oil because my hair is starting to like do its little staticky thing. So I'm just taking like three more drops of the oil. Let's let, what's it giving? What's it giving? If I had to write this line and I'm doing this as unbiased as I can, I'm giving it a nine out of 10. 
Y'all know I try and use a lot of different hair products. I try a lot of different hair products. So uh, there are a lot of things that factor into like my score and my rating. First of all, I feel like the formulas of everything is very, very good. And I like the fact that this is not just like, oh, I like these ingredients or I use olive oil in my hair. Like who don't, who don't use olive oil in there or who hasn't known to use olive oil in their hair. But it seems like there's a lot of science involved here, which I can appreciate. Um, so starting off at the beginning, the scrub is great. Could it be grittier? Yes. Like if you want like a really, really like gritty, gritty, like granular scrub, you're not gonna get that from this scrub. But I do think it is good for the lather because I haven't used very many scrubs that like lather up. I've used ones that are like more like sugary and have like that kind of sticky feeling to them. So the fact that this is like a scrubbing shampoo, I think that that's different. I haven't seen very many of those. I'm not saying they don't exist, y'all. The packaging, I could see it becoming like a thing later. Like with the hydrating shampoo specifically, I just took the whole top off and set it to the side and just was pouring it in my hand um because it's similar to like the way like i love those products too but the bottles are so structured and hard that it takes a lot of effort to squeeze them out and i ain't got no upper body strength so i have heard about rice water like using it for your hair for a long time um i've never really used anything like that in my hair and i have to say like i was initially nervous like just thoughts going through my head when I was washing my hair with it because I didn't want it to leave like a film or like an ashiness or anything on my hair. That's what I thought was gonna happen. I did say that like the container that they have, I think that that is 24 ounces, but I wish they would have marked it on the bottle because someone like me is like, is this 24 ounces? I feel like they should come together. Like, I feel like you should get this and the bottle together. Like, and then it should have the option, like if you need to like buy more treatments, you could just buy more of the treatments, you know? Because this treatment is so effective, your hair will feel stiff. Y'all, it didn't feel soft at all. It didn't feel soft at all. And I remember I told y'all that it felt like stronger and it's saying, your hair will feel stiff, which is a protein working to strengthen each strand. That's where the second step, the silk rinse comes in. The silk rinse conditions your hair into silky softness, softness nourished by our African oil blend and sea buckthorn oil. That makes sense. The conditioner, um, I use the moisturizing deep conditioner just because that protein treatment already had protein in it and I didn't know if this restructuring treatment mask excuse me had protein in it so I didn't want to um double up this she's thick with three c's the one critique I had for this is I wish it came in a bottle like this because I'm just seeing myself like if I was a person that washed my hair in the shower I don't want to be fumbling with no jar I don't want to fumble with a jar that I got to take the top off of and scoop it out. And then you getting water from your shower in there is messing up the formula. I would prefer this to be in a bottle like the shampoos were. I think I mentioned this also in the video. You know how like with other conditioners I've mentioned before, like you will have so much slip when you rinse it out. Like your hair will feel so soft. This doesn't give you that. Maybe this does. But this doesn't make your hair feel like, oh, so buttery soft, but it does make it feel good. Um, then we have the last product that I used was the hair oil. Um, this is probably my favorite out of everything. I don't know what it is. I've been really on a kick about hair oils lately. I love the packaging. You might call it vain or whatever. You can get me with some packaging any day, any day, I promise you. I love the packaging. I love the feel of it. It's a light oil. I put this on before I flat ironed my hair and I was worried that my hair was about to be greasy. It was not. It's a penetrating oil. It goes into your hair strands. It doesn't just sit on top of your hair. Um, and then I also showed you guys how you dispense it, how when you turn it upside down, the oil isn't just leaking out. You have to actually tap the bottle to get it to come out. If there's three products that I think you should actually like truly get if you're like, I'm not about to buy everything, girl. Like what should I actually get? Get the oil. I would get the deep conditioner and I would get the rice water thing. I would get these are the three that I would be like, don't leave without them. And out of these three, if there was like one that I'm like, 
you need to get this one, I would get the rice water, honestly. Like, because I was trying to figure out like, my hair doesn't feel soft and it doesn't feel rough, but it feels like strong, like it literally was feeling stronger. I would get that. I think it's a really good line. And of course there are gonna be people out there that say like, you only like it because you like Beyonce or people only say they like it because they like Beyonce. Some of y'all have even DM me when I shared the PR on my Instagram earlier today. Y'all were like, I'm already not excited about this because I feel like people's opinions are gonna be biased. I'm tr really trying to give you like the most unbiased opinion. Are there things that I think could be better about this? Yes, but I think it's good like for what she has. and I, I feel like it's just only gonna get better. So that's my review y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'm about to sit down and literally edit this right now, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.